Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vision Classes. It's a classes for IGCSE, GCSE students, students around the globe. Today we have to discuss the syllabus and structure of Cambridge IGCSE International Mathematics and its paper code 0607. And this syllabus is for 20, 25, 26 and 27. It's a more or less same but some of the differences are there slight. Uh, we will talk in video. So if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to our channel and even congratulations to our student those who got a a star grade and many of the students got a a star grade so i'm happy that you got the a a star grade for international mathematics you have a 10 topics first one is number algebra then nextly function coordinate geometry uh, just a geometry part mensuration trigonometry transformation and vectors probability and lastly statistic these 10 topics are there and subtopics we will discuss subsequently in the video so in igcse if you take let's say core to, you must have to target the highest grade that is c and you will get the c to g as a grade and if you opt for extended subject then you will get definitely grades between a star to c and if you connect with us I am sure that you will at least get the A grade, fine. Many of our students got the A star grade. We will move on to the, the core assessment. The core assessment, you have uh, three papers. Paper one, which is non-calculator oriented and it's a 60 marks. 40 percent structured, uh, unstructured questions are there. The calculator is not allowed it. Then nextly paper three of core it's a 60 mark again and paper 5 it's a investigative it's a 40 mark question and you have to use the graphic calculator to uh, solve the example then nextly extended assessment you have to prepare for paper 2 paper 4 and paper 6 paper 2 is of non-calculator oriented it's a 75 marks and 40 percent structured and structured questions are there paper 4 of 75 marks and you have to use you can use here graphing calculator then nextly paper 6 it's a investigation and modeling here you have to use the graphing calculator so that means you can solve any of the question easily all right topics under the number here number system you have a basic core concepts are there the types of numbers here uh, basically you have a for both extended as well as core students they have a prime square cube then triangle, common factor, multiple, LCM, HCF, reciprocals, uh, then rational, irrational numbers. Then you have a sets for both of them, core as well as extended student, then powers and roots here. All right. Or as well as extended student, you have a fraction, decimal percentages. All right. And the basic concepts are same here. Proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction, decimal percentages. Then uh, you have a ordering for both extended as well as core then you have four operations then nextly indices part is also common for core as well as extended then standard forms standard forms means you have to write in terms of a times 10 to the power of n all right a uh, you have to write in between 1 to 10 then nextly estimation then ratio and proportion and rates are the common topic then percentages percentages increasing decreasing percentage then uh, simple compound interest topics are there then using calculator you have to find out the values all right solve the equations then nextly time concept is also again same uh, for both then money concepts are there now here extended student they have a extra two topics under the number system it's a exponential growth and third these two topics are extra for the extended student all right then nextly second topic that is algebra under algebra you have to uh, you have an introduction of the variables constant coefficients then algebraic equations are same algebraic manipulations are same algebraic fractions for extended student uh, you have to learn and understand difficult factorization difficult questions of factorization all right then you have uh, equations of ax plus bx plus ky plus kby right a square plus 2ab plus b square all right 
these expansions are there basically then nextly here algebraic fractions indices indices part here also common for the both core as well as extended student then nextly equations so equation uh, here in the algebra actually constructing equations then formula linear equations all right these are common for both core as well as extended student then you have a simultaneous linear equation solving the quadratic equation changing the subject of the formula this is one of the important topic uh, is common for both extended as well as core student then inequality part is there nextly 2.6 then uh, you have a sequence 2.7 topic is there for both uh, sequence here you have to find out nth term all right linear quadratic and cubic sequences are there nextly the extra topic for extended student it's a proportion proportion part is extra for the extended student understand the direct inverse relations and the concepts relating to the proportion and things like that then third topic that is function all right so function under function you have a firstly graphs all right linear quadratic graphs are both common for core and as well as extended student then cubic reciprocal exponential then trigonometry graphs extra graphs are for extended student now for extended student you have to learn and understand in depthly all the concepts so as to get a a star grade if you are looking for better future fine then nextly you have to even understand this sketching of graphs on the calculator this is very interesting and important part because you must have to use this kind of calculator solve any of the question uh, so in our class actually we uh, discuss different types of questions here we have a ax square plus bx plus c how to draw the graphs and things like that then i i particularly discuss with the student how to draw the ax square plus bx plus c the graph then nextly you have a functions okay understand the use of function notations both it's a topic for the core as well as extended student then nextly finding a quadratic function using informations basically here vertex and then another point x interpret and the understand the concept of asymptote identity asymptote concepts are new in the syllabus transformation uh, transforming the graph of functions you have to define the y is equal to f of x and then transformation part y is equal to f of x plus k things like that are there your logarithmic functions graphs are there so how to draw the graph using calculator this is also part of your syllabus and nextly coordinate geometry so coordinate geometry basically for a core student nearly five topics are there and extended student you have a six topics are there right so first topic that is coordinate x y coordinates then gradient of a linear graph length midpoint then equations of linear graph how to find out equations then parallel lines parallel lines just a extra topic for extended student it's a perpendicular line then nextly geometry part geometry concepts basically you have to understand and draw various geometrical topics or concepts basically i would say because here line per parallel line perpendicular line bearing right angle interior exterior angle similarity then congruency these topics are there polygon circle circle related concepts all right so then angle measurement in degree measure and draw the lines and angle then similarity it's a common topic then symmetry then angles angle sum at 360 okay around the point the angle sum of a triangles these concepts are there under the geometry then circle theorem circle theorem 2 all right then extended and core student more or less same topics are there but extended student some topics are extra discussed uh, and covered uh. all right then nextly mensuration you have to understand the different units then second topic area and perimeter then circle arc sector related concepts all right then surface area volume concepts are there 
then nextly compound shapes and the parts of the shapes that you have to understand under the mensuration topic then trigonometry trigonometry for core student just two topics are there the pythagoras theorem right angle related concept but apart from that for extended student they have a exact trigonometric values of sin x cos x then trigonometric functions you have to understand all right even you have to solve them then nextly the non right angle related concept then pythagoras theorem in in a 3d part is there so 3d part is uh, very important because most of the time they ask the question on 3d trigonometry questions transformation and vector concepts so in, under the transformation and vector concept you have to understand four important topic first is reflection rotation enlargement translation all right it's common but for extended student you have to understand the vector related concepts such as translation then addition subtraction multiplication all right then magnitude of vector these are the extra topic covered for the extended student then nextly probability so probability introduction to the probability is common a relative and expected frequencies again common the probability of combined event also common venn diagram t diagrams are there then nextly last but not least topic that is the statistic classification of statistic statistical data interpreting the data then discrete and continuous data right average range then nextly you have a mean mode median concepts are there all right then nextly statistical chart and diagrams such as bar graph all right then pie chart pictography steam and leaf diagram simple frequency distributions then scatter diagrams are there common for extended student just a cumulative frequency diagram is extra hard uh, yes these are the topics are covered are there for core as well as extended student for international mathematics fine suppose if you want to connect with us i have left the contact in the description box for more detail understanding of these concepts take care bye